regarding the Article 30 of the Thai Constitution in 2007, it states that all persons are equal before the law and shall enjoy equal protection under the law. Therefore, the government of Thailand needs to be responsible and accountable to provide equal rights and liberty to all people living in Thailand. A bus is the most popular public transportation in Bangkok because it is cheap and covers many areas. In 2014, BMTA, a state-owned enterprise, decides to purchase the new buses. With this, the Venerable Movement Group requirements for the low floor bus with the universal design. A universal design is a concept of the landscape and environmental designs of the objects and places that every single person can utilize equally and equitably. Therefore, a low floor bus is one of the examples of the universal How the low floor bus project started? The movement group raised the law for a choose since the BMTA opened for the TOR public hearing of the 3000 bus project. However, it does not get much attention from both BMTA and the media. Until the movement group brought this issue to website change.org. The idea of this website is to give space for ordinary people to write their own policy. And if other people agree with that policy, then they will sign their name to support it. This is how policy can be created from the bottom up. The low floor project initiated by Mrs. Apani Mitong, who is one of the movement group, with a campaign named Bus for All. The campaign called for the BMTA for adding extra qualification of the bus that every bus, both non-air-conditioned and air-conditioned bus, must have low floor. The measurement of the success of the campaign on getting the public attention was that more than 20,000 people signed their name to support this project. The current situation is that BMTA has sent a signal that all of the air-conditioned bus will be the low floor. But the remaining area of discussions today was that what about half of the bus that is non-air-conditioned? Do they going to be low floor bus as well? Our group tried to understand this project by starting with trying to understand how each stakeholder identified problem for the movement groups which mostly member are the disabled people. The problem they identify is the inequity of the society, which then they apply this issue to the scope of public bus. The idea is that the public bus should be designed for every people, includes those vulnerable people like the handicapped, the elder people, and the mother with baby carriage. Then come to how the BMTA identify the problem. Our group first difficulty on investigate how the BMTA identify the policy problem as we cannot interview the decision maker or find any evidence to support. However, after we study the policy, we seem to realize that the BMTA did not identify the problem at the first place. The idea of purchasing low floor bus just start after the issue get the public attention. Finally, the BMTA added condition of low floor bus into the TOR. However, it still did not create policy aiming to solve the problem of inequity of the bus. Yeah. Okay. Oh. The movement group suggests that they should divide the fighting between the non acquisition bus and the acquisition bus. The movement group asks Bangkok Metropolitan Administration to fix the bridge approach or cross the pond so the road for bus can drive past easily. A third condition is that having high floor bus without elevator for vulnerable people. Vulnerable people see no benefit of having non-air conditioned high floor bus with elevator because it takes time for getting on and off the bus which will lead to traffic jam. They don't want to be seen by others as a burden. As I would have mentioned before, BMTA proposed that Having 1,659 non-air-conditioned high floor bus with elevator for disabled and 1,524 air-conditioned low floor bus. Bangkok Metropolitan Administration suggests on having special taxi for disabled. Here is an example from local interest about the slow foot time which have been confined to the bus line. And this is an 
Finally, at the night, you are a public hearing on April 20th, 2014. BMTA has chosen a number of 3,183 new buses, which consists of two types of buses. The first one, a half of them is the non air pollution high floor bus, and another one is the uh, air pollution low floor bus. By giving the reasons as previously claimed about the bus and the bridge flows in the uh, Bangkok metropolitan area, that can, be that can be the obstacle for the low floor bus. So the expenditures for these concessions is estimated around um, 13 billion baht. BMTA decided this budget to replace the old buses to provide reliability of the organization, to reduce the expenditure and to preserve the environmental conditions and energy consumption. However, BMTA has to express it about its concern to those vulnerable people in the TOR. In the TOR, list the groups of the companies that can propose the price of the concession. So the buses need to consume the natural gas. Unfortunately, after being complained by the Indian, the eighth um, TOR, the MTA is likely to be sued by the vulnerable groups due to the price of the concessions that proposed before was too high.